Hey everybody, Bob Saunders back again to continue talking about approaching infinity. Before I showed you the new officer's screen with pretty much everything there all at once. We also took a look at the inventory screen. Now we are ready to go look at space stations. Uh, I showed you before the new interior of the lobby and I'm just going to go ahead and do everything. The market is also uh, revised. Lots of information at your fingertips and uh, ease of use both with the keyboard and mouse. Oh, whoops. And here's the new outfitter. Now, in the past, you could only see up to five items in a station at any given time, and you would pay to restock the station. I'm going to experiment with no paid restock, but what we are going to have is up to about 22 items available in any given station. Now, in early sectors, it will be fewer and each different race in the game will offer you a different mix of components, but the bankers uh, still are selling just a little of everything. So they've got a couple of uh, got a couple weapons, shield, cloaking device, uh, armor, sensors. Instead of sort of gambling as to what you're going to get, you can pretty much count on a nice selection. You can pick and choose your build. Now we'll see how this actually changes gameplay right now. I just want to get it out there. Um, honestly, I think it's going to let you uh, design whatever sort of build you want to make. And well, I, I'm, I'm all for that. So we've even got uh, multiple devices here. And as you can see, scroll bar uh, and tons of information over here. And now something that... The folks on Discord convinced me to try. Uh, you notice we've got these uh, abbreviations for the different stats of the weapons. That's not really going to change, but what, you're, what you may notice is some coloration. Uh, blue is better, red is worse, and white is either the same or uh, mixed results. So I can tell, for instance, huh, so every weapon for sale has a better damage per turn, that's this number right here, than my currently installed weapons down here. Um, let's see, the Entropy field uh, has worse damage than the Neutron Beam and the Particle Beam, but it has better damage than the E-Warfare pod. Um, cooldown's mixed, range is mixed. Um, so what happens if I buy this and install it? Let's see, I'm going to replace, let's replace the E-Warfare pod. Now, the Ion Cannon has better point defense than anything I have installed. And the Sapper missiles take less supplies, but they do worse damage than everything. So you see it, it uh, adjusts to what you have installed. Um, and this is... This is true of everything. Uh, you can see currently installed devices. It doesn't compare them because there isn't a way to do that numerically. Uh, something I did today is the pawn shop. And you can get some similar information there. Uh, these are things that you can sell. I want to make it a little clearer that uh, that these things are for like you selling to the station. Um, but something really cool that I'm excited about is taking a look at surveys. From now on, doing surveys of planets will actually save all this, uh, all this terrain data. And you'll be able to actually see the planet, possibly remember it. Uh, I might increase the map size. I thought it was too big, so I decreased it. Now it looks too small. <laughs> I need to have, find a happy medium. But this is what I've got today, uh, and I'm pretty excited about those surveys. So uh, next, I've got to work on contracts, pay it forward, and shipyard. Those things aren't done, but I have tackled the four hardest rooms and the, probably the two hardest screens. That's where we're at right now. I think it's a pretty darn good place. Still more screens to go, but I'm happy with it. Thanks for watching.